Hello everybody, this is Paul Neeson with the Raw Life Health Show. And today on the show, I'm going to show you a little clip that I did recently at my Raw Food Retreat of a lecture. And in this clip, I'm talking about why I believe we can't get all the nutrients we need from our food alone. And I'm also talking about why it's important, it's so important to take Dr. Shandell's Longevity Blood Profile Test. And here's this little clip of me talking about this, but after this little, little clip, I'm going to come back and I'm going to talk more about uh, Dr. Shandell's test. And, and we're going to see uh, why it's so important to take this. So watch, check out this clip and then I'm going to come back and talk more about the test, which I just took and I, I've been taking for a long time. So here's the clip. From my experience of speaking to a lot of people, Dr. Shandell and all these other people, you cannot get all the nutrition you need from food. If you're eating a raw food diet, a vegetarian diet, or even a meat-based diet, man has a habit of destroying what our Creator gave us. And he's done that with the soil the food's grown in and the food that comes out of that soil, so there's not enough nutrients in it. So we have to look at some whole foods in a supplement form or some supplements. And that's where I believe the test by Dr. Chandel is so important, is when you take his test you can stop wasting your money and just take vitamins because somebody else said take them. But you can see what you need for you. That story I told you about that kid that was really sick and, and then he found out he had some deficiencies and he found out what he needed. I did Dr. Chandel's test and I had some deficiencies. My PTH uh, was low. Basically calcium was leached from my bones. There's no way I would have ever known that if I didn't start going uh, to him to get tested for that. So I was able to stop that, stop that from happening. People say, what kind of supplements have I taken to stop them happening? Dr. Chanel gave me a whole panel, a whole things to do and take, and nothing specifically for that thing, but with understanding the synergistically how the body works and everything that was had issues is better now. And it was nowhere near, near as, met, as other people have major issues, but still, the issues. So there's no perfect diet out there or no perfect food that's gonna heal everything or be great for everyone. I'd like to think it is the durian though, but, uh, uh, but, but there's no perfect one thing. And that's the way we think in today's world. We think of the, the one magic food that's gonna heal us from everything. And even more a problem is the paradox of choice. Because when we figure out what that magic food is, there's like 15 different varieties of that food. And we drive ourselves crazy trying to find out which variety is the right variety. And we stay up all night trying to figure that one out. And then we get ourselves sick. Okay, everybody, that was a clip of uh, me talking about just why we need more than just food uh, to be healthy. And I talk in other videos about that. Uh, but let me explain to you Dr. Shandell's test here. It's uh, American uh, Metabolic Laboratories.net. Or you could also go to caprofile.net. That's his website. Uh, basically, when you go to your doctor to take a blood test, they're only telling you a small uh, situation of what's happening inside your body. See, the blood is the messenger of the body. You want as much information as possible. It's really a waste of time and money to take vitamins and supplements and, and, and do certain things if you're not targeting the area that needs those things. And that's what so many people do today. So what I recommend people do is people should target the areas that uh, things are needed. For example, Dr. Shandell has his longevity blood profile test. Within that test, he has something called the cancer profile test. And he's taken uh, a whole bunch of types of blood tests and created this panel uh, of blood tests that can reveal in the earliest stages of things like heart disease and, and, and cancer if, if it's developing in the body based on the messenger, the blood work. And most doctors don't look at all these tests, and this is why it's, it, you're just getting a, a, a very short view of the whole big picture when you go to the average doctor for the average test. So let me run through this test and just show you some of the things that he's looking at. And he also has been doing this a long time. Uh, many doctors could probably uh, give these tests, but most of them have no idea how to read them, and many of them, they don't even know about the test. Dr. Shandell put this together and I do it every year and I've been doing it for a long time and I think it's so important I had like I said in a little clip you just saw 
I had some developing issues that I wouldn't have known. I feel amazing. I don't know anyone who eats better than me. I exercise and everything seems great, right? Well, according to the first time I went to go take Dr. Shandell's test, everything wasn't great. I had issues, which I talk about in some of my other videos. And, for example, one of the tests Dr. Shandell gives is homocysteine. And my homocysteine was high. This is a, an amino acid which, uh, if it's too high, it can lead uh, to heart disease and many other issues. Now, homocysteine, vitamin B12 and vitamin B6, folic acid, all these things tie in together. Now, when you look at the synergistic, the way vitamins work, so my B12 been fine. I've been a vegan for a long time, but my homocysteine was too high. So uh, when you get to somebody who understands this and they explain to you, well, you could take some supplements and that will bring down the homocysteine. Now, why was my homocysteine high? I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot of things we can do for our health, but there's a lot of things that we can't do or we got to figure out. And uh, Dr. Shindell's program, along with his supplemental program, will help you get the things where they belong so they don't continue to get worse. They say preventative or, or, or to catch something like cancer, a tumor or something, to catch in its earliest stages are the best bet you got to uh, get better from the, the tumor or, or avoid the tumor or shrink the tumor. Well, the doctor considers an early stage when they can see a tumor in a microscope. Well, Dr. Shindell's test reveal of somebody developing a, tu a tumor even prior to that, that's one reason why it's so important, a very important reason. So here's some of the things on this test. He tests hormones. He tests uh, all these other types of uh, uh, things. We're going to run through the test here. So uh, it's a, the, the CA profile test, we got the, it tests HCG. It tests uh, the PHI, and we're going to be looking at all of these different things. I'll explain what these are. Uh, DHEA, which is uh, got a lot of attention today, but it tests this. Uh, it tests all these tumor markers, the cancer tumor markers, uh, the IGF-1, the estradiol, the progesterone, so all these hormones, uh, tes testosterone, the cortisol. It tests PTH, which is another uh, cancer uh, marker, and it, it tests this. Uh, C-reactive protein, homocysteine, and cholesterol. So when you take this test, uh, or this panel of tests, the longevity profile test, you're getting all that, but then you're going to get the average test that the, the, the medical doctor will give, which is, uh, you know, a test for your, your calcium and, and make sure everything's in order, so it gets that. So these are the results. So this is what Dr. Shindell is going to give you all of this when you take his test. And if you want any other special test, it'll give, it'll give you. But let's go through some of these tests. Let's look here at the DHEA. Uh, when I first went to Dr. Shindell, uh, DHEA, I mean, how many of you even heard of that? Uh, and, and we're going to look at what it is. But when I first went to Dr. Shindell, uh, my DHEA, and this was after being on a raw vegan diet, was the uh, equivalent uh, to, I believe, an 85-year-old. And that was, I think, maybe 10 years ago, so that was when I was 30 years old. My, uh, it was uh, equivalent to an 85-year-old. But I felt great again, for, for whatever reason, stimulation or whatever, I feel great, but my DHEA wasn't doing too great. And uh, after going to Dr. Shandell and doing a supplemental program, uh, it's come all the way down. And uh, it's been up and down a little over the years, and I've been experimenting with different things. But uh, now, uh, this last test, uh, my DHEA was the DHEA uh, was the was the level of a 46 year old. I'm 43, so I got much closer. I'm getting much better. Now, why is that important? Well, we're going to look through it because uh, an important thing is, and you can actually find this on his website. It's what all these tests mean. So, if you want to try to go to your doctor and and, and take some of these tests, uh, you could read what they mean, and you can tell your doctor you want to take these tests. But I recommend you just get them all by Dr. Shindell because remember, all these things work synergistically. So Dr. Shindell put all these things together. It took him a very long time to put these things uh, together and get these things going. So we look at these things here. So DHEA uh, is an adrenal anti-stress pro-immunity longevity hormone. So then you can think, okay, there it is, stress. Stress is going to affect this. It's a longevity hormone, so longevity, we want longevity. Uh, it says most cancer patients and those who are developing cancer have a low serum DHEA levels. 
uh, it is a low case of adrenal exhaustion. So obviously I was adrenally exhausted uh, and when I first went to him over 10 years ago, I didn't know about it. So then I knew I had to do some things about it and I did some things, I addressed that, got that back where it should be. But that's not the only thing. We look at these other things here as well. Uh, we, the, the PHI is an enzyme that regulates uh, anaerobic uh, metabolism and, and, and this can be a factor in cancer if it's too high. So you need to know these things. Again, the, it's the messenger of the body and talks about all these things. CEA is another one that's a test taken uh, that studies have been done to show when it's out of range it can contribute to cancer. Uh, HCG can be elevated in existing cancers. You know, stress uh, it, it, that is leading to cancer or developing cancer in some instances, uh, many as 10 or 12 years before the actual tumor could be detected by any other methods. Normal levels are less than 1, uh, and the gray zone, uh, it, it, a less certainly zone, may be 1 to 3. Results above 3 should be more seriously considered. Remember, a, pos a, po uh, a positive suggestion does not necessarily mean an existing cancer, but perhaps a developing cancer. And that pretty much sums up the, the whole test right there. Uh, it, it, it can catch not only an existing cancer, but also a developing cancer. And from his studies, 10 to 12 years before this test, he's catching these things. Uh, and, and so it goes on all of these. Uh, PHI can be elevated... Uh, Elevated in a developing cancer, existing cancer, acute heart, liver, muscle disease, and it goes on and on and on. Uh, these are uh, many of the tests that are found on his, on his profile. Go to his website, uh, caprofile.net, or you can go to americanmetabolicLaboratories.net, and I'll put that below uh, the video here. And you can see that. Just look at the description below the video, and I'll put his contact information. Uh, if you tell him I sent you Paul Neeson, you can even get a discount on this 10% off on your blood test. Now, uh, some people say, well, how much does it cost? Or does he take insurance and all this stuff? Yes, it's important to uh, be able to afford a test like this and so on. Uh, from my understanding, and you might want to check this with him, if your doctor uh, will regulate, uh, send you to Dr. Shindell to take this test, I believe the insurance will cover it, but uh, you know it's not often that a doctor would understand the value of these tests, so it's not going to happen. So then you'll have to pay out of your pocket. Uh, is it worth it? Every single cent. Is it expensive? Uh, the first time you do it, it might be, but once you have this whole panel, then all you got to do, in my opinion, is you, you, I do the whole thing once a year. But then you go back maybe four or five months later and you only test the problem areas. You, you make your changes you did, uh, you do a consultation with Dr. Shindell and you fix those problem areas. Uh, so here's the homocysteine. So he gives you all these papers which talk about this also. A normal reign exists between uh, uh, the, the hormones uh, uh, and homocysteine and a blood clotting formula increases uh, and it talks about how it works and everything else in the normal range and it has this chart here. When I first went to him my homocysteine was way high and I got it lowered uh, through doing what he said to do. Now that, that leads to another thing. There's a... Uh, I was not a big fan and I even mentioned it in some videos of, of synthetic supplements. Uh, I, I think we should take uh, natural supplements. I think we should take supplements like a whole foods in a supplement form. But Dr. Shell has been explaining to me for years that that's just not enough. You'd have to eat, uh, first of all from food, you'd have to eat like tons and tons of oranges to get the amount of vitamin C that's actually going to prevent and be a, st a stress reduction and help you in stressful situations and also keep your immune system healthy. Uh, if it's a bioidentical synthetic supplement, uh, made in certain places. Now certain supplements, synthetic supplements, are not healthy at all. They're actually worse than good for you. But if you're getting a synthetic supplement that as it is healthy for you or, or can address the situation, I, I, I've switched now. I'm a big fan of it. Why? Because after years and years of trying to address these things with food alone, my numbers weren't changing. My numbers weren't getting better. 
But then finally, after listening to Dr. Shindell, and I'd even send him videos, don't list him about the supplements and so on. But finally, after getting on his supplement program, and I'll make another video about the supplements I'm actually taking that he recommended. After finally getting on the supplement program, I can tell you everything came down and, and all but a couple of things is in the range it should be. And we're just making those proper adjustments. But the test now, now not only do I feel amazing, but now my, my blood work is where it should be. And I have a warning to those people that say, you know, we know everything we can get can be from food and all this stuff. Look, I had said that one of his tests, a uh, PTH test, uh, talks about calcium leaching from the bones. And uh, when I first went to Dr. Shindell, it, it was very high. I mean, that's not good. He says you can be the healthiest person around, you can have the healthiest organs around from your diet and everything else. But if you fall down and you're breaking your bones, what good is everything? You know, you got to do some things for that. So uh, I made the adjustments, I took the supplements he said to make and so on, and I got that lower. You see, these things, uh, I, let me put it this way, and let me close on this. And then maybe I'll put a little clip on here, but there's many other videos by Dr. Jandel on my website. He was doing a, a, a symposium, and he was the main speaker, a whole bunch of doctors. And a doctor comes up to him after he gives this information about his longevity profile test and says, what you're trying to do is a bio, bi, biological fortune telling. And Dr. Chandel thought about it and said, yeah, I, I guess that would be a good way to put it. And the doctors actually said to him, now listen to this, folks. This is the way the doctors think. The doctor said, we don't want to know if somebody's going to be sick 10 years from now. We want to know now when they're sick. Did you catch that? Did you understand that? When I heard that, I had to take this test and I had to keep taking this test. The average doctor doesn't want to know what's going to happen to you 10, 15, 20 years down the road. They only want to deal with what's going on now. So for example, you're driving a car, you're driving a car, and let's say the brakes are bad. So that's like the car company saying, we know the brakes are bad, but we don't want to deal with the brakes being bad now. We don't want to do a recall now. We only want to deal with it after there's an accident. That's the way doctors think today. And it's absolutely crazy. I get no compensation from Dr. Shindell for recommending his test, uh, for recommending people go see him and do this. And, and that's an important thing because many times people will, will, will push something because they're getting compensated for it. No, what I get is knowing that I want people to be healthy, I don't want people to suffer from disease. I'm dedicating my life to go out there and find the best of the best people that can help you, help yourself avoid disease. And I put Dr. Shindell at that top of that list. And I recommend you go and see him and call him and follow up with him with a consultation. And uh, you will see the difference. All right, everybody, put your comments below the video. Here's Dr. Shindell's clip. Thanks for watching and have a great day and a great world life.